Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have Action Force Trigger from Series 2B and it comes in that awesome Action Force style packaging. On the back it shows the figures, has a file card, and here's a close up of that file card so feel free to pause if you'd like to read it. But let's get Trigger out of the package. Just like all the other Action Force figures, we get figure stands, and they look awesome. They got the multiple foot pegs on there, and we got the slot for the file card of when you cut that out. Straight out of the package, Trigger comes with a pair of Trigger Finger hands. We also get a pair of Gripping hands. Trigger comes with a pair of Fist hands. The final pair of hands that we receive are the support hands that can be used in so many different ways. Like example, right now I just have them up where he's just like, bring it on. A new accessory that we received with Trigger is a headset with a communication mic piece. Even the inside of the ear cups have a texture, which is awesome. You know, got a little bit of extra paint there, but whatever. Just a really nice little calm headset. Trigger sidearm is the MX-9. This thing is sculpted really nice. We've seen it before, and it works because it's uniform with the Action Force figures. And we got the hole for the muzzle flash effect. Just a really nice looking pistol. Now, if you're going to have the nickname Trigger, you're going to have something to back that nickname. And he comes with his primary weapon, which is an M249 light machine gun. This bad boy looks great. I love the two-tone tan and black. Look, at slick. Tons of sculpted in detail. It came in two parts. This part was separate. Pops in. And so you can have a collapsible bipod. So, or stand. Whatever you want to classify it as. But still, cool that you can have it either way. So... His magazine, feeding in those bullets, looking nice and clean. Unpegs from the bottom, so you can actually remove the magazine. Here we have up close look at Trigger, and his head sculpt is awesome. Like, the whole appearance of this figure really gives off a SEALs vibe, but I love his glasses. They're all tucked in there. He's got some sculpted in, like, wrinkles and stuff in the face. The beard looks good, the mustache. He just looks mean. Very mean, like he's going to get in there, do what he needs to do, and get out. Just really well painted. The ears are sculpted nicely. The hat is really nice. Um, we even got on the back the Action Force logo. And then all the sculpted in details of the stitching on the bill. Very, very cool stuff. Got the back of the harness looking nice. Now, you guys might recognize this harness and this body. Um, this whole upper body is basically what we've seen with Carrick in the version 2 Sergeant Slaughter. So that's something that uh, you, you'll recognize. This whole harness is from that version 2 Sergeant Slaughter, which still looks good, just different colors. And his whole underside is that Carrick version 2 Sergeant Slaughter tank top. Still looking clean, nice green. But what's different is he actually has gloved hands. So he's got the, the gloved hands versus flesh hands like Sarge and Karak have. Then we got the loose belt here. This is like something that we always will seem to get with the, the Action Force figures, which I'm okay with. You know, give us more give us more accessories. You can never have enough. And I just like that little loop because you can do stuff with it. Um, his camouflage in the pants are pretty nice. It's pretty clean camo. Uh, he's got the pouch on the side, medic pouch. Or whatever pouch holster for the gun and these whole lower legs these are the newer ones you've seen with like desert rat and uh duster you know we got the newer pants that aren't tucked into the boot there's drooped over boots look good got the treading on the bottom so i really like these i was very skeptical with like the ankle bend and the pivot and how they would look but they still managed to look decent so the overall appearance of this dude is pretty, pretty awesome. Then I'm sure we're going to have a couple of people that are going to be like, but Arthur, what's, what's going on with the articulation? Articulation is the same that we've seen with a lot of the Action Force figures. His head can look down. It's a disc ball. Can look up quite a bit, looking nice and clean. He can get full 360 out of the head. Don't know why you'd want to do that. He even has some attitude in there. Arms. Full T-pose. 
looking nice. We got those butterflies. And again, I didn't have to heat this figure up. This guy straight out of the package came out moving nice, snug, in a good way, like butter. It's just nice and sort of thick feeling when you're moving these, these uh, joints around and stuff like that. We got the bicep swivel right here. Double jointed elbows. Get tons of motion out of there. Wrist rotation in here. And then we do get the bend. So, very, very good articulation. Speaking of articulation, this harness does not really get in the way. He has this upper ball. Let me see if I can get it to stop because I'm trying to hold the bottom from moving. But you get this upper part that allows him to get this crunch. Even with his other lower part, he can hunch down. This stuff does sort of gap up, which as it would if you're trying to slouch down and stuff like that. But he's getting all the articulation that you'd want. And this harness doesn't get in the way. I really like this harness. And then, of course, you saw down here, he has the ball joint down there. So he can do the hula hoop. He's got the drop down hips. He can do the full Van Dam. He can even kick a field goal kick. He's got the thigh cut up here. Get the double jointed knees. Ankle bend. And we get some pivot in there. Trigger all geared up looks awesome. This figure is sick. He just looks like a heavy weapons type of guy. And I love it. I just love the design for this figure. And I, I'm a big light machine gun fan too. I'm, I'm a sucker for light machine guns. They just are just nasty. Just can just spray bullets everywhere. Um, but I did borrow the muzzle effect from the Delta gear set. Um, we get three of those with that set. And I borrowed one to put onto the ends of the guns. That's why at the beginning, if you saw them with those muzzle effects, that's where those came from. Uh, some of the weapon sets, you can get them. But that's just super, super clean. Looking nice. I love the little headset so you can communicate back. And it's... Man. This dude, it, it looks like he would hurt somebody. Here we got Trigger lined up with the Steel Brigade from Series 1 and the new Delta Trooper right there. And they look great. I love how well they, all these figures blend so well together. And I just, I really like the look, that seal look, that Chuck Norris look, just looking badass with Trigger. When it comes to Trigger from Series 2B, he is as impressive as the Garrison Cavalry. This figure is badass. He has that mean, tough, Navy SEAL Chuck Norris vibe to it. I mean, hell, his primary weapon is M249, which is badass by itself. This figure brings a lot to the table. It's very, very awesome looking, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. Series 2B has been impressive from the gate, from the jump. Uh, all the figures... Joints and everything are buttery smooth and they just look really, really nice and clean. And that sums up my unboxing and review of Action Force Trigger from Series 2B. If you guys are enjoying my content, go ahead and hit that like button. New to my channel, hit that subscribe button as it helps the channel evolve and grow. Hit the silver bell notification if you want to know when I post up a new video. Go ahead and check out Action Force Valiverse. All their information is down below. And for all your import needs, make sure you guys check out Toyco Toys and Collectibles. That website is going to be down below. It is still under construction, so just check back every now and again. And then there's also the Toyco pre-order group that allows you to stay in the know with a lot of the collectibles like your Figma, SH Figuarts, Storm Collectibles, Thousand Toys, Mayfex, Mafex, however you want to pronounce it, Fex. Just go check it out down below, all the links. And I want you guys, most importantly, to have the best luck hunting. Keep on collecting and have a beautiful day.